Handling codependency issues with friends and family. Codependency means you have no independency. When you are codependent to another person, your life is almost in tandem with them. And people with dependent personality disorders are usually codependent to everybody that they encountered. Codependent people, which for the record is not recognized as a disorder in the uh, statistical or the diagnostic statistical manual published by the American Psychiatric Association, only dependent personality disorder is, but the symptoms are the same. The difference is the nature of the relationship. So when they're almost the same, I should say. So when you have somebody who is codependent, they're often codependent to one person in addiction. Again, we're dependent personality disorders. You're codependent with almost everybody you encounter in life. But what happens with codependence with friends and family is they're enabling. They have no boundaries. They're not holding the person accountable. They're actually becoming their ally. They're they're, they're preventing them, them from wanting to ask for help or feeling a bottom. An addict and an alcoholic, even people with mental health that can function, they need people to keep them comfortable because if they're held accountable, then they have to do something different about their problem. And as they fall into this rut and this routine of this lifestyle choice and of this addiction and mental health crisis they're suffering, they need nothing more than codependent people to help them stay sick. So as long as there is a a stage, if you will, for them to act out, then they will. So the best thing somebody can do with friends and family that are addicts, alcoholics, or in some cases of mental health, if you're codependent, you wanna become independent. If you're attached, you wanna detach. If you wanna enable, you need to disable. So if what you're doing isn't working, then do the opposite, because if you what you were doing was working, you wouldn't be watching this. So when we talk about codependent relationship with friends and family, just remember, if you think they have to want help and hit bottom before they ask for help, how is your enabling codependency, lack of accountability and boundaries towards them gonna make them think that they have a problem that needs to be addressed?